Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Triple C. My name's Matt. Uh, once again, a little small introduction. I am a food writer uh, for travel magazines. I have my own blog, uh, Candid Candid Compendium. And I just wanted to welcome you guys back. Uh, we're here for the second month of our unboxing. Now, we actually have two different uh, services that we're currently subscribed to. Our first video, if you might recall, was from a Universal Yums website. Um, we actually uh, discovered something uh, fresh and new. Uh, it's called Snack Crate. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, salute. I did wanna do something interesting this time uh, that I didn't do last time, but uh, I always like to have something to drink with my unboxing. You know, when flavors mingle, you get like different types of experiences, right? So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. Um, this is the True North Blend from Starbucks. I got that out of my Keurig. Um, so that's what I'm drinking today. I put a little bit of peanut uh, protein in there. You know, it's always good to get protein. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, today I'm going to be introducing you to my good friend, Mr. Snack Crate. How are you doing today, Snack Crate? Buenos dias. <laughs> so I hear that you like to travel a lot. Uh, I hear that you uh, go all around the world and experience all these different cultures. So uh, what did you bring for us today? I actually just got back from Spain. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, open up Mr. Snack Crate here and get into what he's brought for us this month. Um, it says, welcome to this month's snacking adventure and you can get social with them at hashtag snack crate. All right, so um, similar to the uh, other service that we subscribe to, I do see a info blurb here that they've sent over. It says that this month's crate is from Spain. Uh, their capital is Madrid and uh, wow, their population is all about, yeah, about 46 million people. So, well, that'd be about, yeah, that'd be about 46 times the amount of people of where I'm from. I'm from Hawaii, if you don't remember. And um, I'm actually uh, living here in Honolulu. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take another hit of my coffee before we get into the box. All right, so let's see what we got here. We've got stickers, we've got more stickers. Now you guys like those. See, we've got a advertisement. All right, I'm gonna throw that there. Oh, check this out. Now, when we opened up our previous uh, subscription uh, in the box, uh, there was a uh, wrapper on it, but it wasn't significant. It wasn't unique to the country that we ordered from. Uh, this one here, as you can see, has a seal of Spain on it, and it has uh, a lot of different languages here. Um, I do see some English translations of foreign languages. This is kind of cool. This is going to be my waste disposal bin now. All right, so we've got huevo frito, sabor. We've got dulce sol, palmera. We actually have something like that in Hawaii. We've got La Casitos. Oh, it looks like a combo candy. Uh, we've got uh, Mivelle, Turan, Vienna. And then we've got uh, Principe Burritas. Looks like a chocolate snack. Okay, we've got some candy here. Chupa Chups. Heard of that one before. Uh, Melody Pops. And finally, uh, we've got what appears to be Picota Hard Candy. All right, so everybody marvel at the fantastic offering that Snake Crit has brought us this month. So, uh, Mr. Snack Crate, uh, let me ask you a question here and uh, for the audience that are interested at home. When you were in Spain, uh, what was your favorite snack? Well, I've got to say, La Casa Picotas. These bright red candies feature crunchy sugary outer layer with a soft gummy cherry center. 
Well, you know, I am a fan of cherry, and I gotta agree with you. It's gonna be good. All right, Mr. Snack Crate, gonna see you down here, and we're gonna go ahead and get into it. All right, uh, would you like some coffee? You good? Okay, cool. All right, so let's get into this with our Northern Blend. Turn off the creepy light. That was for effect. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, bring in to our main event here. Okay, so we've got La Casitos chocolate con leche cone. Uh, looks like uh, there are some various assorted colored candies in here. Um, it looks like uh, this one uh, is very soft and might be melty. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one here. Yep, definitely melty. Okay, meltiness doesn't always help the presentation, but uh, doesn't affect the flavor. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a piece of that. Okay, so it is uh, it resembles to be some kind of milk chocolate. Very sweet, smooth. I, it doesn't really remind me of any other candy. It's very unique. All right. Let's see, next we've got here is El Vele Sabor Huevo Frito Fried Egg Taste Chips. <laughs> Fried Egg Chips. So it says here that um, this snack is from Snacks El Valle. Okay, um, you know, I'm, I'm a biggest fan of chocolate as the next. Um, and uh, I always try to cleanse before I try the new flavor. Yeah, we wouldn't want to clash there, right? All right, so. Nice little picture of a sunny side up egg along with some egg chips. So I actually have had egg soda um, from a Vietnamese restaurant. It was good. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this. Egg chips, okay. Oh, that smells awesome, okay. Um, definitely fried in oil. All right, let's go ahead and take it. Whoa. Okay, definitely tastes like eggs. Um, definitely get that egg hit off the top. I mean, this is something you could definitely use um, with a sandwich, uh, even for breakfast. Not everybody's fans of eggs, but um, if you uh, ever had a sunny side up egg and um, right along the edge um, of the white part of the egg where it gets crispy, it definitely has that type of flavor. So if you're a fan of eggs, definitely recommend the Huevos Fritas Eggs Chips. Okay, looks like our disposal bin is, might be a little bit too heavy for that. All right. Okay. All right, Mr. Snack Crate. We're about to try your favorite candy, the Picotis. Now, if I recall, this is a cherry flavored candy. Once again, it does seem to be a hard candy, but I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. All right. Wow, uh, it's nice and crystal. It has a hard shell. Oh, wow, not a hard candy. That's good. It has a gelatinous center. Um, it has a sugar candy coating on the outside it is cherry flavored um, but it doesn't it doesn't hit you as like a fresh cherry it, it has more of a um, processed uh, gummy cherry flavor um, but I'm a fan of cherry so I really like that one all right uh, let's see here uh, okay 
there's a little disclaimer here from Snack Crate. Um, it does mention here that high temperature can cause some items to melt or get soft during transit. You can upgrade to cold pack shipping on your account page to ensure the snacks arrive nice and cool. Wow, that's a cool idea. Gonna have to definitely look into that. All right. Okay, so we got one more next snack up here. We've got the Dulce Sol Palmera. Um, we have something like this in Hawaii. It's called the palm leaf. Um, I've actually had these fresh uh, from a patisserie, a French patisserie. So I'll be interested to see uh, how these are um, in uh, league with uh, my previous experience here. I'm gonna go ahead and break off a piece of that. All right, so nice flaky pastry, still fresh. Okay, very mild. I'm noticing a trend with these food unboxings, these crates, they always have something in there that could, could be good for breakfast. Um, this is definitely one of those things. Uh, it's gonna be great with my coffee. Really nice. Uh, it, it's a very subtle flavor. Um, there's a little hit of butter on there. I'm gonna have one more. Definitely gentle on the stomach. It's good. All right. That could actually be used as part of a main course. Um, I know that this is called snack crate, but it definitely gives you the experience uh, where it could be like a full meal, uh, maybe if you had two of them. Uh, it's very good. Okay, so let's see some of these stickers that we got here. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys on the top left. Actually, it's gonna be right for you guys. On the top right of um, this, sticker board here we have a chorizo matador oh hey what's up benji that's benji mirai all right so go ahead and take a shot of that so tell me mr snack crate uh how did you go about uh finding these stickers here well you know i was picking up those egg chips and i thought to myself how awesome would it be if you could put a sticker as a memory of your Snack Crate experience? Wow, that, that is a great idea, Mr. Snack Crate, man. Mr. SC, you are the man. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kidnap this chorizo sticker here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn that into some Prop Oganda, haha. <laughs> there you go, how's that look? Big fan of chorizo, wouldn't mind having some chorizo with my uh, Dolceso Palmera. Uh, I think that would be a good combination, okay. All right, let's finish up here, guys. Oops, sorry, Mr. Snack Crate, didn't mean to bump you there. All right, so we've got Mivel Turan Vienna. Um, Looks like the year 1935 is established here. All right, this one comes with a little advertisement. It says, un snack diferente y especial. <laughs> Gonna have to Google that later. All right. So I'll go ahead and open that up. What's that, Mr. Snack Crate? You want me to read another factoid off the sheet? Okay, all right. After this, is that cool? Yeah? All right, thanks. Okay. All right, so um, once again, wishing that I had got the cold crate. Um, this is definitely melty. Uh, presentation wise, we're losing it. I apologize to the uh, <laughs> Tehran Vienna Company. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. Wow. Okay. 
So it is what you would expect. It's a chocolate covered wafer. Um, it does have a filling inside of it. What's really interesting about it though is it has a zesty hint of citrus. Um, right now I can't pin the head on whether it's an orange or a lime, um, but it definitely has a citrus hit on there. There's some nuttiness to it. Definitely a lot going on there. All right, so little side note guys, if you are interested in reading up on my foodie blog, it is the Candy Candid Compendium um, on Blogger. Uh, you can also uh, type in uh, Murai Blog. Now, um, these snack packs always come with interesting factoids. Uh, the last subscription had a joke in it. Um, this one appears to be a little bit more professional, a lot more serious, not really too jokey. Um, but uh, they do have a message here that uh, if you visit uh, snapcrate.com slash Spain, uh, you can actually specifically get this snack crate. Um, I do uh, recall them mentioning um, along with their cold service that they offer, you can actually uh, get a uh, super crate which includes a drink. Now uh, this is just a regular snack crate and uh, we didn't uh, subscribe to the drink crate yet um, but uh, this month would have been the Cas Limon um, originally created in the 1950s this intensely flavorful soda is made of real lemon juice sunny like a warm Spanish summer day so uh, hopefully you can see that one right there so that would be the drink for Spain this month okay all right so we're getting to the end of the video here guys uh, just once again wanted to thank you for watching this entire video uh, working on being more concise uh, let's finish up here we've got the Principi Veritas okay um, this feels like a bar um, let's see what type of ingredients this contains all right so this is uh, another chocolate covered treat um, it appears to have a topping uh, and inside it resembles a cookie uh, Yet another great coffee snack. Chocolate covered. It's got like a rice crispy mixed into the topping. Always a good idea to have a drink. You know, I, I really wish I would have got the snack crate with the drink pack. Um, this coffee is awesome, but uh, I think it definitely enhances the experience here. Maybe one of these days I'll have wine. Okay, so it looks like we got one more sticker here. This is a Snack Crate sticker. Once again, we got this box from snackcrate.com. And I'm going to go ahead and prop again to that. And we're going to go ahead and finish up this video here with our last snack, the Shupa Shoops Melody Pops. So I wonder why they call it a Melody Pop. That's interesting. Uh, usually when you eat a lollipop you don't really get a melody out of it all right let's see what we got here oh okay <laughs> it's shaped like a whistle <laughs> this is a lollipop whistle I don't know if you guys can see the shape of it there um, but there is an area where you can blow into and there appears to be a tuner here <laughs> oh wow now that's something to major in in college huh all right one cool thing about it is it's very melodic as you may have heard but the flavor also sings to me um, Definitely a hint of fruit. 
I don't know if you're a fan of um, fruit punch, um, but it definitely has multiple fruit flavors in it. Um, and uh, so, yeah, um, once again, that would be the Melody Pop from Shupa Shoops. And I'm uh, Matthew Rye from the Candid Candid Compendium blog. Um, thank you for watching my video. And if you are interested in learning more, you can look at the description box down below. And I'm just going to serenade you off. See you next month.